Hi, it's Monica and today I'm going to be reviewing Carousel's Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This latest release really did take me by surprise because I'm not really typically a sports person but I was really easily immersed into the world of tennis in this one. And I absolutely love this book and I rated it a 5 out of 5 stars and this is quite a rarity for me now these days because I have not been rating 5 stars for quite a while and I'm really excited that I did find one book that I really did love. So we start off this book with Carrie Soto, who is our main character, and she's watching a Grand Slam take place, and she's watching an up-and-coming new tennis star player, Nikki Chan, who is on the verge of overtaking Carrie's record-breaking title wins. Carrie then makes the choice to come out of retirement at the age of 37 years old and to re-enter the tennis scene and also to defend her record. It won't be easy, but Carrie's father agrees to be her coach once more and it will be a long and hard, difficult road. And it also doesn't help that everyone has an opinion on her rejoining the tennis world. If you couldn't tell from the intro, I absolutely love this book and I'm really happy about that. This time, we're focusing on the sport of tennis and we get to learn about the high stakes nature of tennis and how intense it can be. Also, we touch upon on competitiveness, double standards in tennis, as well as older athletes making a comeback. We start this book off following Carrie from her childhood up to her training to become a rising tennis star, and then it goes to present day in 1995. I'm personally not a sports person, but I would like to be one, and reading about tennis, it was really fun to learn about the intensity that comes with the sport, as well as the technicalities and the really and the skills that you need to be really good at the sport. Going on to carry herself as a person, she's not the most likable character ever. She shows an example of poor sportsmanship. For example, she would taunt and gloat at other players, and Carrie can be a sore winner and sore loser. But I couldn't help but root for her to actually make her comeback and win her Grand Slam title record again. And Carrie really does hold on to the fact that she lives and breathes tennis. It's her entire world and she's been in the world of tennis ever since she could walk. Tennis is all she knows and loves to do, so without tennis in her life, she doesn't really know what to do anymore and it's like a loss of identity for her. I really did admire Carrie's persistence and her determination to work hard and train hard to get back to the level of athleticism that you need to be to compete with even younger people than her. So she's like competing with like young 20 year olds and she's really determined to get back into the competition scene. She really does keep her head in the game and she also has the loving support of her father who is also her coach and seeing their progression throughout the book was really nice and sweet although they did have their ups and downs but it did pay off to be a really strong parental relationship that Carrie does hold on to. There's also another development in Carrie's personal life that allows her to see that she can have something other than just tennis and that she is worthy of something more in the future to someone else. And I really did love that because she has previously struggled with maintaining a relationship so to see that she has some hope for the future is really nice. During the last portion of the book, I was like on the edge of my seat because it's a really intense tennis match and it felt like you were watching the game happen right off the page and I was so into that and I was just hoping that Carrie would win. By that point, Carrie does come to the realization that she can be something else other than just a tennis player and it really did leave you off with a hopeful note that Carrie is moving forward in her future without sacrificing her past accomplishments. Also another thing that I didn't notice while reading this book was mentions of other characters from Taylor Jenkins Reid's other books in this one and we get to see like appearances of Mick Reva and also Daisy Jones so it's like Taylor Jenkins Reid is curating her own mini universe and it was really fun to see those little cameos and mentions or easter eggs. Overall, Carrie Soto is Back was a really excellent, well-written book and I'm really excited to see what Taylor Jenkins Reid has more for us in the future and I think I really do need to reread some of her older books. I have read like Seven Harvest Spins of Evelyn Hugo because there is an adaptation coming out and I would like to see if I still have the same positive feelings that I had when I first read that book. 
Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and this quick review of Carrie Soto is back. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below if you wish to see more bookish content from me, and also ring that bell to get notified. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all soon.